Hi there. So today's video is going to be a little tutorial on dyeing clothes. Wish I was dying. Just kidding. Are you constantly bored? Never satisfied with the clothes you already own? Always trying to distract yourself from a sense of impending doom? Well, I have a solution for you. Just take all the ugly denim colored clothing you already own and dye them green. Or any color you want, but I'm dyeing mine green. Cat. Be hello. No? Okay. Today I'll be dying this oversized denim jacket. Ew. An old pair of mom jeans. So boring. And this pair of high-waisted 90s shorts that my mom bought and then decided she didn't want them anymore. All you need is a drop cloth. I got this from the 90s store. 90s store, dollar store. I got this from the dollar store. It was a dollar. A bucket of some sort filled with warm water. It's, uh, it's not here. And Rit all-purpose dye in dark green. So I actually have it in powder and liquid form. I've used both in the past and I don't really see a difference. Um, Michael's only had one of each, so probably use one for the shorts and pants and the other for the jacket. We'll see. Let's get into it. First, you need to wash your clothes. The instructions say with warm soapy water and come on Rit, I don't know what that means. What kind of soap? Fix your instructions. Anyways, I use detergent. I would do this step right before you're planning on dyeing because your clothes are supposed to be a little damp before you dye them. Next, you need to fill your tubs with hot water. Then add about a half a cup of salt and a teaspoon of dish soap to each tub. It's supposed to help the dye distribute evenly. Then pour in your dye. On the first tub, I use the powder dye. You just dissolve it in a cup of warm water and then pour that into the bigger tub of water. For the liquid dye, you just pour it in. I don't measure these very precisely, and you'll see why in a minute. Stir it all up, baby. Next, you take a paper towel and test the color of the water. Too light, add more dye. Too dark, add more water. Pretty simple. I thought the powder dye came out kind of gray. The liquid dye seemed to be the more truer color. So I just added a little bit of the liquid dye to the tub with the powder. That's more what I was looking for. After giving everything a good stir, place the clothes in the tub. Once you've submerged the clothes, stir them for 10 minutes. Apparently this is a crucial step to ensure even color distribution. 
I recommend setting a timer. Oh look, a timer. No wait, I'm a millennial. I don't know how to work one of these. That's better. After that, you just rinse them until the water starts to run clear. Now would be a good time to check and see if you accidentally stained your pants. And I did! Nice! Heck yeah, dude. So yeah, I just kept rinsing with cold water and then just kind of smush, smushed it out. Yeah, that's an official term. And I lost my band-aid. Bye, B. Nobody needs you. Now my blood, sweat, and metaphorical tears went into the making of this. Then just wash and dry them one last time. I always throw in one of these shout sheets to absorb any extra color. Nice filming, they can definitely read that. I don't have a viewfinder that flips around, so I almost never know what I'm filming. So fun. I wanted to film the montage outside, like in a pumpkin patch or somewhere festive, but there's nowhere like that where I live. It's very hot, so. I think I have an idea. Hey, I'm a